Danny, a tough game on Tuesday, but time to bounce back against Wrexham on Saturday. Yeah, look, we, 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 Tuesday's history, we've got to move on now and we could move on to another team that's in very good form and, and uh, will be buoyed by the fact that they've just had their takeover and a large cash injection and, and, and hope, we're hoping that they're focusing a lot on that so we can uh, we can maybe get one over them on Saturday but it's going to be another tough game and we, we just got to make sure that we dust ourselves off and, and get as prepared as we possibly can do. You know, given the disappointing performance, can we maybe expect some changes or people to come in and test themselves? I think there'll be changes anyway because of injuries and suspensions. So we're, we're, we're definitely down to bare bones at the minute and we just have to have a look at how we can best put a get team together that we feel is going to be competing. And as you said, there were some sort of poor performances all round, if I'm honest, on Tuesday. And we, there's not many that could argue if we, if we pulled them out of the team, to be fair. Um, but look, it is what it is, and we'll, we'll, we'll as I said, we'll, we'll plan and prepare and, and crack on as best we can. You alluded to my next question there, obviously with you know some injuries and maybe some suspensions here and there as well. It's a chance for those who have been on the bench for the last few games to come in and impress. Yeah, and, and, and it's you'd rather it be in different circumstances, and it's because you want to change. Like some of the changes we want to make on on Saturday are, are, are forced. They're not maybe changes we'd probably want to make, but we're going to have to make them. Um, but look, we've, we've, we've got some players that are hungry to give, get back in the team and give themselves an opportunity to get a run of games and there you go and it's, it's tough when you're coming back into a team that's just lost a game um, because you, you, you want to come back in when it's, the morale's higher but the realism is that that doesn't often happen if the team's winning the team doesn't change much so the boys are going to have to come in and roll their sleeves up and listen it's going to be all hands to the pump on Saturday and every, everyone's got to be in on that. We speak about these two things a lot, maturity and continuity and consistency. And it seems with these sort of results we've had on Tuesday, we always seem to bounce back from the results. Yeah, and, and we've already said the, 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 the term bounce back gets used far too much of us. And we, we kept the boys in the, the dressing room for an hour after the game. And once I'd kind of blown the top and, and said all the things I needed to say from a, from a match perspective, one of the things we started to discuss was What's the reasoning behind the fact that we can perform the way we did against Barnet? We can go and be as resolute as we was at Stockport and then we turn up and perform the way we did on Tuesday. Now, there's an element where we're we tired and I think we addressed that in the, in the post-match. Yeah, there was an element of tiredness and they didn't have a game Saturday which has probably played into their hands a little bit. But that's, this isn't a one-off. We've, we've, we've had some great runs and it's always ended by a poor performance. And I think if you get beat, at times by a better side, you have to hold your hands up, but it wasn't just that Solio were better than us on, on Tuesday, it was the manner in which we conceded the goals and we defended and those little things need to be improved and, and soon. And looking at our next opponents, Rex, obviously they'll be boosted by their Hollywood owners like you say and you know the news that their furloughed staff has been there, their, pub, yeah, their pay has been refilled. Yeah, and I mean look, you, you it's nice isn't it, when the, when the new owners come in and drop £2 million straight into the budget and but that, that, listen, that's them. This, that's nothing to do with us. And I'm, I'm, I'm pleased for Wrexham. They're a big, big club, and it's nice. I'm sure for their supporters and, and officials that they've got some direction now and got some financial support. But as I said, with all due respect, it's not really my. I, I don't really care. That's that, that's their business. It's about us and all the shot. And we're doing the best we can with what we've got. And the, everybody, all hands on pump to make sure that we, we we're not in the same situation as what Dover are. And I think that. We're all keen for Saturday and the football and the pitch and what goes on on the grass, but the bottom line is there's a lot of bigger stuff going on at the moment and we've got to ensure that the club's in a good, strong position and we've had to cut our cloth accordingly and make some cutbacks and, and so is everybody at the club. And we're all doing it with the best best interests of, of, of this, 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 oh, it's a great club and and we've got to make sure that, that everything's in place, that it has long longevity. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes, mate. And just talking about that, you know, the bigger picture there, does that affect preparations at all? Or is it still just focusing on next game, next game, next game? No, I'd be lying if it didn't affect the, what we're doing because you've got players that are worried because they're looking over their shoulder every five minutes because obviously there's people furloughing players all over the place and footballers want to play and we're, we're doing the best we can to make sure that doesn't happen to us. 
but of course it's going to concern players and we have meetings with them all the time and even as a staff you, you're looking at it thinking like, what, what could potentially happen even though we do our best to try and focus on the next game we'd I'd be lying if I said it didn't affect us Looking at Wrexham we played them earlier on this season unfortunate defeat there what do you expect from this time round? Well, almost a different side than they were then um, we, we, weren't, we weren't particularly great up there, but they not, neither were they. It was a real poor game and a great strike from the lad. That was probably the only way someone was going to win it. And But look, I, they're, they're, as I said, they're a complete different entity now. And the games we've watched, they're, they're good. They've got some very good players. They've brought some good lads in. And they could win against local rivals working on Tuesday as well, so they'll be full of the game. Full of yeah, confidence. exactly. And and I've, they brought in like players like Angus and, and whatnot. And someone I admire quite a bit. He's, he was excellent for Barrow. And, you, when, you, when you can do that, that's always going to make you stronger. Are you in Mirror Shot? More information below. Click here for the next video, click here to subscribe.